Hello all, welcome back to New Hope Tarot, where we will be doing your reading for July 5th. I have meditated upon the cards and I have reshuffled. As always though, I will shuffle live. And during meditation, Spirit showed me an owl. And to me, the owl symbolizes wisdom as well as taking a different point of view so perhaps here during this time there is something that you need to take a different point of view on take a different perspective on something take that how it resonates here with the Princess of Pentacles, which is the pen, uh, Page of Pentacles in this particular deck. This is telling me that there is something that there is something that needs to be focused on. You need to think of just like the owl, there's something you need to cautiously consider. It may be something that makes you sad. Either the situation itself is a sad situation or whatever it is you're contemplating makes, makes you sad. So let's say for instance, let's say for instance, you're in a situation and you may feel that whatever your solution is upsets you regardless. So the situation itself upsets you, but also the outcome, what you consider the outcome to be is also disappointing. Okay, or makes you sad. We have judgment, two of cups in reverse, and king of cups. With this, with these cards, what I'm getting is that your final decision, although it may weigh heavy on your heart, you need to do what you feel you most value. So for instance, if you are breaking up with somebody or leaving a job, make sure that you have considered all of your options. Make sure that it is the most fair option specifically for yourself. And even though it may hurt you, you know that it's the right thing to do because staying will make you even more sad or more hurt or more blue or more upset. Yeah. Yes. It is time for you to do what's right for you and have a new beginning. Have a fresh start. Whatever that may look like for you. Okay? All right. And for everybody who has taken the time to subscribe, donate, 
like, share, comment, all of that. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. And please stay tuned for all, um, for the free reading during the dailies, okay? All right, we are starting with Cancer. We have the Five of Wands in reverse. Take a risk. Stretch. And come together. All right, whatever you may have been conflicted about or whatever you have been struggling to face or do, it is time to now take a risk and try it. It is definitely time to try it. If this is in regards to actually dating or, or joining a group, um, a, like a community or even a new job, it is time for you to move on and do something new. If you've been going back and forth in regards to a situation like that, it is now time to do something new, Cancer. All right. Leo. Two of Wands, the Outlaw, Soothe, and Nature Signs. I love how all of this has to do with nature, Leo. I feel like it is now time for you to go and explore something new. It is now time for you to take matters into your own hands and actually go after what it is you're wanting. It is time for you to go your own path, whatever path that is, whatever path your soul is wanting you to do. Go do it. Your soul is asking to be soothed. It's asking to be alleviated. It's asking for you to listen to it. It's been giving you signs. You may have had difficulties come to this decision, but it is time for you to go do that. Okay? It is time for you to go and do that, you know. Here we go. Ace of coins in reverse. Play. Receive. Wait for winter. Okay. If your main focus has been on your finances or the depleting of finances, it is time for you to take a moment and really consider taking a break what you're doing because you may be in the brunt of it and you may be too close that you may not be seeing what's not working. Okay, so it's time for you to get out, go play because this playing will give you that different perspective and allow you to receive receive whatever you started in winter may come into fruition come this winter okay libra nine of wands shadow reflect Wisdom. Whatever you have been struggling with, whatever you have been struggling with, it is time for you to take the time to work through it. If you've already come out of a situation, you may still be feeling 
wounded or hurt, but use the, those that hurt, that pain can be used properly to build your stairway up if you do some shadow work and reflect on the situation as a whole because that will bring the wisdom that you need in order for you to thrive, in order for you to move forward in life in this situation, whatever that looks like for you, okay? But ultimately, you have to do the shadow work. The shadow work is the most difficult part, okay? The second difficult part, well, actually wanting to do the shadow work and doing it even if you don't want to, okay? And then reflecting on all the shadow work. I would recommend, Libra, getting a notebook, writing down the things that you dream, the, your thoughts that come to you, because those... and specifically when it comes to doing the shadow work, because those thoughts, sometimes we don't recognize that we're having those thoughts, but by writing them down and then we reflect on them afterwards, it gives it different meaning. Okay. So doing that might be very helpful to you. Okay, Libra. Death. It came out in reverse. I'm going to take it in reverse for Scorpio. Warrior. Free. Divination. Okay, Scorpio. What I'm getting here is the fact that you may have to give up a way of doing something, a way, some sort of, some sort of habit. I understand that this is not the devil card, but I'm getting the word habit, some sort, something that you do or, or the way you live. It, there, there's something here that you need to break out of, but you're not, you're not, breaking out of it. There's a cycle that you need to end, but you're not ending it. You need to be brave in order to free yourself from this particular situation, um, whether it's in finance or a relationship, whatever that is, or a job. Um, because with this divination, this is telling me that if you do, you're going, not only will you be guided, I feel like you are being guided and, and asked to do this, but there's a fear here that's holding you back. Listen, listen to your guides, listen to the messages that are being delivered, and you will be guided to this freedom, okay? I'm not saying that it's going to happen immediately, but baby steps. Okay, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Six of Cups, the Revolutionary, Alive, and Hope. Wow. Sagittarius, I'm seeing that there is some sort of happiness here that's really going to ignite you. I feel like there's a new beginning with this revolutionary that's really going to refresh you, make you feel alive. It may have been something that you have hoped for, right? Whatever that looks like for you, it's something that is going to make you ridiculously happy. With the Six of Cups, I'm almost seeing the lovers. Uh... The, the lovers in this particular, um, with this particular card, it doesn't have to be. It can just be a happy union. It could be happy friends or a happy reunion. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be in love. Okay. Oh, we have the Six of Cups again. All right. They're not giving me any more information other than it's it's a happy situation. All right. It may be something that you have been 
really hoping for and wishing for for quite some time, Sagittarius. <laughs> they said, no, we're not going to give you any more information. That's funny. Capricorn, the Knight of Cups. Boundaries. Decide. Transformation. Wow, Capricorn. You may be encountering someone who is really focused. It could also be a job, but there's someone here that can be incredibly dedicated to you, but may have their boundaries up. This may be you looking for love, but you have your boundaries up. Okay. Either way, you have to decide which path you want to take. You notice there is all the way down deep there, there is a lighthouse. All right. So there is hope. Your road may have been long, which could potentially be why you have this um, boundary up. But in the middle, the armadillo is vulnerable. It's gentle. Right. So you may have to be open to this particular situation in order for it to come to you or for the path to be open for you to get to it, to allow it to come into your life, okay? Because we have the transformation card here. So, but you have to do the work. You have to allow it. Whether, again, whether it's a job or a person, Aquarius, we have the temperance card, sage card, fluid, and purity. I love that we have both temperance and the fluid card, which is telling me that sometimes in situations that may be, if you notice, both, both of these cards are hazy, like there's it's, they're not clear, right? They're not clear. Sometimes we, ha and then also we have the moon here, which is also a, a bit of uncertainty. So what this is telling me is that if you're going through a time that is uncertain or unclear of where you're headed, do the best that you can with what you have with the knowledge that you have. And then move forward with the best and purest of intentions in order for the right outcome to happen. Okay? You have to be fluid. You have to go with the energies. Okay? Just because the things are unclear or uncertain doesn't mean that you doesn't mean that you have to feel un clear or uncertain. Okay. You can be sure of the steps you're going to take without knowing what an outcome is, but you have to use your wisdom. You have to recognize that sometimes you don't have all of the control, but you do have some control. Okay. You do have some control. Right, what situation are we talking about here for Aquarius? Yeah, you, you may be un, unclear as to how to move forward in a situation. I, I, I'm, they're not. Okay, one more, please. Yeah, you may be holding yourself back. Sometimes you have to recognize that you're not going to have all of the answers. You're not going to have all of the control. You still have to move forward in the situation. Otherwise, you're not going anywhere, Aquarius. Pisces. The devil in reverse. Love. Allow. Lost and found. Pisces, you may have, you may be, you may have freed yourself 
from a very manipulative situation or a controlling situation. But now you may be ready to love. So allow yourself for you to really soften, recognize that not everybody is the same way, all right? Because once you allow, new love will arrive, all right? And if this isn't love, it could definitely be just your heart healing in regards to the matter of a heart uh, of a heart situation it doesn't necessarily have to be like a romantic relationship it could just be of the heart space okay aries nope they want it that way nine of swords in reverse the seeker gratitude life energy. Whatever is sucking you dry, whatever the situation is, okay, whatever is sucking you dry, whatever anxieties you may have, whatever um, despair you may have or have had, um, but I feel like there are things that you don't speak of and that you just keep internally. I feel like that's something that needs to end. And number one, you may need to find the appropriate help with the seeker here so that you're able to, find, I don't know, can you see this card? The glare is awful. There it is. That's probably the best right there. You may need to find some sort of teacher or somebody who can assist you. Find somebody that can help you get control of this situation. So that you're not feeling so in despair. So that you can be more in the feeling of gratitude and regain your energy, regain your life's vitality. Because right now, I, either a situation or a, a situation of your own doing is sucking you dry, and we need you, we need to get you back into this energy. Now, again, please go find somebody that can assist you to regain control of this situation. Okay, Aries, Taurus. Four of coins in reverse, reclaim, love, new beginnings. Taurus, if you've been taking a lot of time for yourself, protect, protecting your heart space, um, fearing change, but now you may be wanting change, right? You need to go out and you need to reclaim your power. If you've been feeling recoiled in a situation, it is time for you to go out, go reclaim and be prepared to dive into a very new beginning full of passion and love here it could be passion and love not necessarily in a romantic sense it could be in a new um career it could be in a new project it could be in a new uh anything anything something there's definitely something new I'm getting love and I'm also getting love for some, but you need to be willing to make a change. All right. Gemini. Knight of Wands, Ancestors, 
balance, ask for help. All right, if, uh, if you have not been feeling as if, as motivated as you typically do, maybe you're trying to break out of a situation that you are truly rooted in, it is time for you to use that knowledge that you've learned in your past. Use it so that you're able to you're able to use that knowledge to grow to bring something new to your life perhaps it's the balance you may have to ask help um perhaps from somebody new perhaps from your ancestors i will get a uh I will get a card here because this says angels are celestial beings who protect everyone. Ask the fairies and the fairies say now is the time for you to ask angelic assistance. I do feel, I don't know if you saw that, but that was the ace of wands. So it's definitely time for a new beginning and you may be needing to ask assistance from your ancestors. Okay. So that you know what path you have to take so that you're able to see what the finish line is going to look like and be clear minded. Nobody wants you to compromise. We want to make sure that you don't compromise. We want to make sure that you are completely clear minded in a situation so that you can break out of it and find the balance that you seek, okay? All right, my darlings, that was your reading for July 5th. I hope this did resonate. Um, if it did, like, share, subscribe, comment. Remember that these are general readings. Take only what resonates and check out your sun, moon, and rising signs. All right, my dear ones, until we meet again, bye. Hello, this is your free reading for Dottie Makes It 9229. Dottie, if you are listening, this reading is for you. Today is July 5th. I have meditated upon the cards and of course I have pre-shuffled, but just like I do in my dailies, I will be shuffling live for you, Dottie. During meditation, Spirit showed me a pendant. Um, it was broken in half. I'm not sure if it was meant to be broken or if it broke in half. Um, it, was, it was gold. I believe it was either a heart or a circle. Um... Either way, when I was looking at it, oh, I got a sharp headache, and then it became a dull nag. As a matter of fact, I still have, um, I still have a pain just above my right eyebrow. So I don't know if you get a lot of of these headaches, uh, Dottie, but. That's, that's what I'm getting here. Uh, let's get your overall energy and what our main focus should be. And let's see what happens here with the cards, okay? Three of Swords. All right, so you may be suffering from a broken heart. It may not necessarily be a romantic love. It could... Um, be a friendship or the loss of a, mem a family member or a friend. This could be this could be something that have ha that happened a while ago. However, every once in a while, you may think of this person.
this was deeply rooted in you. This was a relationship that was deeply rooted in you. It meant a lot to you. You may, you may still have some ghosts or some skeletons in regards to this relationship. Right, we have the Queen of Swords, Temperance, and Six of Swords. We have the Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. This to me is telling me that your soul is saying, I'm going to leave it here. Well, now I'm going to leave it here. This, this to me is telling me that your soul says that you may have been cheated of time with this person. Um... Like that's how you feel about the situation that you were cheated of time. I'm going to get all the cards out here, Dottie, before. I get a full story. Okay. The headache has eased up. All right, Dottie, we have the Queen of Swords, Temperance, Six of Swords, Ace of Swords, Two of Wands in reverse, Page of Cups in reverse, Temperance again, Ace of Swords in reverse, and Two of Wands upright. Very interesting how we have the Ace of Swords twice, we have the Two of Swords twice, both flipped, and then Temperance upright. Right off the bat, I'm getting a lot of mixed emotions, a lot of mixed emotions. One day you may be fine, another day you may not be fine. One week you may be fine, and another you may not. You know, there's there's this, it, it may be moment to moment, it may be week to week, it may just be on certain occasions, but I'm just getting like there's this, constant, well, not necessarily constant, but a frequent um, change of emotions where you may be fine and then all of a sudden there's a sadness, you know. But let's get here to the Queen of Swords, Temperance, and the Six of Swords. Again, you may have been felt like you were cheated of time with this person. Yeah. I feel like I don't feel like you're cold or harsh. I just feel like you know the truth, you know the facts, and yet you're logical about things. But for some reason there is still a sense of you're holding emotions back even though you know the truth of something. Even though you know the reality of it, inside it just feels, it, it almost feels like you're going to burst some days. Yeah, it's like you're holding emotions back. Like out of nowhere, you're fine. You know, you're, you're, you're fine. Like normally you're very efficient. You're doing your thing. And then all of a sudden, a scent, a, a memory, something just kind of 
takes over and it's almost like you're overcome with emotion and you possibly have to hold back tears. Yeah, you're going back and forth and and then after you your emotions kind of settle, you you go forward. You're like, "Okay, I'm fine." And then you you move forward. This can also have been during this circumstance, whenever this happened, you may have been the strong, steady, sturdy one as well that kept things together. And here you are moving forward alone. trying to move forward in calmer waters. This might have been your soulmate. Uh, we have a swan here and swans do mate for life. So it, it doesn't, and again, it doesn't necessarily have to be your, you know, a romantic relation. It doesn't have to be your spouse or your partner or whatever. It could have been a soul friend. You know, somebody that was part of your soul tribe, somebody that you truly connected with at a very deep and genuine level. With the Ace of Swords, Two of Wands, and Page of Cups, it, I'm getting the sense that on the days that you have really good days, you really try to, you really try to recognize that the choices that you make are all internal. You're like, no, I am going to have a good day today. I can get through this. I can go in my heart space. I'm good. I'm good. That's what I'm seeing here. It's like, it's like you're kind of having a self-motivational talk. I'm good. I'm good. The days where you're a little bit, oh, can I do this? Can I not do this? You may be, it's almost like you, it's almost like emotion overwhelms you. Emotion takes over and logic kind of goes out the door. And it's, and it's like you're, you have to make a choice to go, no, I need to move forward. I have to not pay attention to this because otherwise, if I don't move forward, how am I going to make this? How am I going to continue living? I have to continue making a living. I have to continue you know, being brave, strong in this situation. I can't allow my emotions to take over. I can't, I can't allow for logic to be suppressed. I need to be clear minded because if I'm not clear minded, how am I going to help? How am I going to assist? How am I going to move forward? The star. You may have been this person's guidance, their, their bright star, 
during a very difficult time. You may have been everything to them and you had to be strong for this person, which is why you were like this, but you were really keeping a lot of emotions back. I'm getting choked up. With the three of cups and the temperance, what I'm really getting here is the fact that although you may have had a circle of support, it just didn't, I, I, just, I don't feel like you were able to really share too much. Yeah, this person was your world. And then you had to go into the world moving forward without this person. This person could have been your significant other. With the Ace of Swords, we have the Fool. Sometimes, instead of just being logical and brave, sometimes you just kind of have to go through life and say, you know what? I can't really focus on certain things. I have to live each day as if it was a brand new day. You have the Three of Wands with the Two of Wands. And, and this is speaking very deeply about staying optimistic, staying, moving forward, not just staying still, but moving forward. Both of these cards are about moving forward, specifically with the Three of Wands here. We wanted to make sure that Whenever you get stuck, we want you to move forward. Not to say, we have the Page of Cups and the Knight and the Knight of Cups, not to say ignore your emotions, face your emotions, but remember that this heart space, everything that went through, that you've gone through, the memories are still there and that's how you keep the memory alive. We have the moon, four of pentacles, and the six of wands. In the end, although you may not know how you're going to move forward in this situation every day, this may be a daily thing, this might be the constant struggle, even though you don't know how you're going to move forward, Somehow you find you, it's like you, it's like you go inside and try to get as much of your strength. It's like you're gathering your strength to move forward. I'm not saying that this is an everyday thing, but during those days, those difficult days, that's probably what you're doing. Like, how can we help Dottie makes it? How can we help Dottie makes it? Now, this is a very specific story. Um, no question was asked. Instead, I got the imagery and the Three of Swords, which allowed the cards to kind of tell the story. So this may be your biggest struggle. How do we help? Get curious. Pause. 
I'm going to scoot this up because we want to make sure that we get all the cards in place. All right, I don't know if you are near the beach, Dottie, but if you are, please go near the beach. Um, allow those moments, or if you're not near the beach, um, go, go and take a moment before things start feeling like they're going to get overwhelming for you. Take note of those emotions. Take note of the moments that you feel that way. What are those moments? Those moments are going to be very specific um, and can be a, a very good clue as to how you are able to manage this situation better. Not to say that you're ever going to forget um, or not feel this way. However, this is guidance so that you're able to move forward with a little bit, it's to, to, a little bit clearer minded to ha have better management of the emotions that are a little bit hot and cold on some days. All right. So I, I would suggest getting a journal. And start writing those days down, uh, write down, you can write every single day and then go back to the days that you're not feeling so hot. And if you're not feeling so hot during those days, those are days to be inquisitive about, find out, okay, what triggered that? Like, what happened? that allowed that not to say that you haven't tried this but by writing it down and specifically if you're writing on a journal on a daily basis by writing it down you may be able to go back and look at the days leading up to it to see if there is some sort of trigger there that maybe you missed and maybe you didn't even pay attention to perhaps you don't even realize that there is a trigger Okay, All right, how else can we help Dottie Makes It? What other advice do we have for Dottie Makes It? How can we help? We have the Nine of Coins, Knight of Coins, Eight of Coins, very, 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 very interesting. We had the Eight of Cups at the bottom of, oh, and there it is again. <laughs> the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck, but then it, I shuffled and it came out again. And we have the Six of Swords showing up again. This Six of Swords, it is at the bottom, which is telling me that you need to go internal. You need to make sure that you go inside because you have the answers on how to manage this internally. You just need to take that deep internal journey of yourself so that you can be... I want to say independent, but I feel like you are independent. I feel with this nine of pentacles, I feel like this is for you to find a more, a, a more sense of stability in regards to this situation. Okay. So, and not only that, uh, spirit wants to say that here Try to start, if you haven't already, try to start at the very basics and then build your way out. 
that could be starting uh, going to a support group, going to a some sort of community, uh, either starting a book club, meeting with with people. Start slow and then build your way up, because community is going to be huge for you. And I know that we we have the three of cups here, but community is going to be rather important for you. Focus on the things that matter, the things that are present in your life at the moment. All right. Focus on one thing at a time. Learn more and more about yourself so that you can try to figure out what the missing piece is and you can try to figure yourself out or the triggers that are causing it so that you're able to move forward. And you do this all by moving, going, going inside, going inside, right? I do want to look at your cards here. I want to see if there's any additional, um, any additional information that I may have missed. Stay in faith and keep moving forward. There's still more for you to explore. There's still more. There's still more life for you to live. There's still more for you to do. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. There's a victory here. There is... And victory is probably not the best word. There's, there's a sense of triumph. You know, keep moving forward. You will, you will win the battle. Okay. You will win the battle if you do the work, right? The work of going internally. Again, stay in faith, build community in order for you to build a new world for you. And I feel like you have a decent community. I do feel like you have people around you. You may be their frequent light, guiding light. But who's guiding you? Who's helping you? Yes, you have spirit around you. But who in this world is, are, are you sharing your emotions with? Who are you sharing your emotions with? It may be time if you don't have somebody in your life that you can share your emotions with it may be time for you to go and explore your emotions not only with yourself and want or perhaps once you're ready to confront them maybe then you can share them with somebody either way with this knight of cups i feel like you need to have a conversation over coffee, over tea, something simple. You don't have to do anything difficult. Sometimes a conversation is more than enough to start the healing process. Don't don't keep things hidden. Right? Don't keep things hidden. It is time for a change and it's time for you to really get out there and be noticed for all that you are, not just, not just 
the guiding light. You're more than a guiding light. There's, and I, I can tell you now, even if you are a guiding light, which is wonderful to be noticed is that, here's the thing, it can be draining, especially if you are still holding on to emotions that you have yet released, right? Even if you have released them and think of it like a, uh, think of your emotions like a, a balloon that you're, that you're slowly releasing the air, right? But it is yet deflated. Okay. That, that's, that's what I'm seeing with you. It's like, yes, you've dealt with your emotions, but I feel like there's still emotions here that need to be dealt with. I don't necessarily feel like this is trauma, just hurt, just a broken heart. It, this person meant a lot to you, Dottie. My heart goes out to you. Okay, that was your reading. You have your homework to do, okay? Do things a little bit at a time. Slow and steady is going to win the race here, all right? Deal with your emotions, but slow and steady is going to be really your key, okay? We have all pentacles here except for the cup. In order for you to move forward within your emotions, you need to go slow and steady and deal with those, um, with those emotions it like tiptoe that tiptoe, not around them, but through them. All right. Because going around them doesn't allow you to face them. You need to go through them slowly, gently, so that you can truly find the peace that you need. Okay. And you're able to go and that peace inward so that you're able to go. All right, my darling, that was your reading. I hope this did resonate. You can direct message me if you like. You can leave a comment if you like. Either way, that was your reading. Until we meet again. Bye.